What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I wanted to show you something, not because I have to, but I'm one of those um, people that actions speak louder than words. And um, there was a video that was brought to my attention um, by one of my subscribers who sent me a private message. I won't mention who they are or what the video is about. And um, I had some people ask me, you know, how come I get all these thumbs down and everything? And um, basically it was from my previous channel, um, some accusations that people were accusing me of. Which, I mean, when it comes to selling comics, it shouldn't matter anyway. But um, basically there are people who were and seems apparently still are accusing me of having multiple accounts on eBay. And supposedly selling and flipping books. Now... I've made it known that I think I've sold a total of 15 comics since the 1990s. So I'm going to show you my eBay account. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my username, but you could see right here in the top left-hand corner, this is the only one I use. There's my rating. I have a 100% rating, positive rating, with 2,300, so almost 2,400 different ratings. This is the only eBay channel I have. So I'm going to show you my feedback as a seller. So let me just pause this for a second so I can scroll down and then I'll show you all the comic books I've sold. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Now, obviously, I don't have to do this, but I'm one of those people, you know, if you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. And Unfortunately, like the whole situation with PGX, people will believe anything that they're told without proof. And it's a little sad considering how I went out of my way to help certain people on YouTube, you know, grow their channels and other things. I'm not going to get into names because it's just, it's childish. But I want to show you how many books I've sold so you'll know. Because I've never said that I don't sell books, but I don't flip them, and I've sold, like I said, and I'll show you, that I've sold a total of maybe 10 altogether. So, let's go down. Now, I have right here, feedback as a seller. So, this is an account that I've had, God, 10 years, 9 years, I don't know the exact date. But it shows, I, showed, I sold my truck. Okay, here's the only book I've sold as you could see here, during the past year, I have several copies of Amazing Spider-Man 300. Somebody wanted one, so I sold it. I sold it for $209. Well, I'm not going to be retiring off that. So I actually, and now this is during the past year, I paid, I sold one of my thousands upon thousands of coins. So I guess I'm a flipper on coins now since there's one there that I sold. All right, so... Is another one of my Amazing Spider-Man 300s. I sold two of them at the time to subscribers. One one subscriber, one I just sold on eBay. Sold that one for 405. It was a higher grade, and that was when they announced the Spider-Man. And I have several copies, so I didn't mind it to help pay for bills. That's why I also had to sell my truck. So let's go as it seems here. Now you scroll down. More than a year ago, these were all the books I've sold since 2015. So I had a Wolverine 50. Signature Series 9.8 that I had no love for because I had like literally 50 copies of that book. So I had no attachment to it. I sold that. Uh, I had a Fantastic Four 46. Sold it for a whopping $25. A Web of Spider-Man CGC 9.4. I have several copies of that. Sold one of those. Uh, Batman number one, New 52. It was a studio tour exhi um, exhibition exhibit. A lot of these were to subscribers back in the day of 2015 when I first started my channel. Daredevil number seven sold it for a whopping $100. Now, one of the questions was these Spider-Man books. Back in the day in 2015, I had like eight or nine copies of these, and they all came back 9.8s. So I was like, I don't need this many copies of this book. I had no real attachment to them. So I sold them to a bunch of YouTubers who were subscribed to me. I never hid this fact. The only reason that it's not there is because I, I deleted my old channel. So here's one, two, 
three, and I think that may be it, but let me do, oh, no, four, five, so five of them. I sold a total of five of them, and that was back in 2015. Now, obviously, you can't click on them because anything past a year, you cannot click on. But as you could see, more than a year ago. So it's not like I'm making it up. So let's see what else. I had a Star Trek number one that one of my subscribers wanted. I sold that for $39.99. So it's not like I'm trying to take advantage of people. All right, let's see. Um... Walking Dead number one. This is the person I sold that to. Another YouTube subscriber. Sold it for $99.99. It was a CGC Signature Series 9.8. So I sold it at fair market value. And they contacted me. And then as you could see as I scroll down. This is back in like 2011. That I sold some of my coins because I had to pay some bills. And I'll keep scrolling down. And then it goes to Bitcoins. So just so you can see, I'll show these others so you could see that there's no more comics. Okay, so here's page two. As you can see, like I said, this is going back 2011, 2012, somewhere around there. I had a bunch of Bitcoins that I sold back in the days. As you could see, 0 0.001 Bitcoin. It's like a hundredth of a Bitcoin. So I, I didn't even think I had like a whole one Bitcoin. But as you can see, now this is going back, God, 2010? Because it only goes to more than a year ago. Oh, and this one I love. They had this actually um, taken off. Seller gave obscenities selling an amp. Yeah, I was mad because the person lied about the amp being broken and they kept the amplifier and got their money back. So it was a, a an amplifier that I used never. Still in the original box. And they lied. And this is another person. Uh, God, yeah, this is back in 2012. To, yeah, oh, no, there you go. 2011. So look how many years ago that is. And you notice there's not one other comic other than those. But this was somebody ordered some, I forget what I was selling. It was some bottle of, oh, it was during the whole, um, what was it? The Fukushima. And I had these, some kind of tablets I had that I sold. And somebody, you know, got a free bottle and they got their money back. So let me show you page three. Okay, so here's page three, viewing 51 of 65. That's what it was, potassium iodate. I had a couple of those. And I sold them back then because a bunch of people asked for them because they were living in California. Let's see. Professional CD recorder. I'm a DJ, so I sold some of my stuff that I had extra. A mega touch machine. I remember selling that. Mercury dimes. Some more of my platinum coins. So this is going back to 2010. And no more comics so this is a little sad and this is the only time I'm gonna do this um, as far as I'm concerned this is a comic book channel that other drama stuff happened years ago I'm a little disappointed in the individual that said what they said and I'm not gonna bring their name up because as far as I'm concerned um, once I saw that I said my piece and I'm not gonna retaliate at all but you know like I said when you Tell the truth. You don't have to have a good memory. So this is my eBay channel that, as you can see, I've been using. And you saw some of the dates on the other page all the way back to 2011. I'm not flipping. And even if I did, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's so disappointing that people make these accusations and claim to have, quote, unquote, proof. So I just showed the comics that he was talking about. And yet you don't see hundreds of comics being sold. I never denied that I sold about 10 to 15 comics since like the 1990s. And I could show any comic that I've ever shown. All you have to do is ask. So it's it's unfortunate that there are people out there that do that, but I show I wanted to show this to my subscribers because I've had people ask me, you know, why do you have these haters and all this stuff? And this is why.
because there are people that for whatever reasons are making these accusations that are just not true and I've tried to avoid all of this stuff I haven't mentioned this since I came back and that's been over a year now and people are still saying things that are just not true or they are exaggerating so I never hid the fact that I sold a couple of those Spider Woman Milo Minera variants because I had a bunch of them what did I need that many for they all came back 9.8 so I thought that was great so I turned around and sold as you saw what was it five is, is that really flipping and then you see how many comics I've sold altogether, which was a total of what 10 11 two of them in the past year and that's it so I don't have any other eBay channel I don't have any other eBay profile that's just stupid and it's sad that people would accuse me of things that are 100% false so I don't owe anybody this stuff I'm doing this for my own personal satisfaction and I just want to say to the individual that brought me up when I've said nothing or done nothing to this individual other than try and help them it's disappointing but it ends here that whole drama stuff does not fly with me anymore so as far as I'm concerned this is all I'm gonna talk about it's squashed people can think anything they want I don't care this is for my subscribers that ask me constantly why do I get all this hate it's stuff like this that people accuse me of things that I've never done and not that it matters but if you sell a comic what's wrong with that I don't understand that so why would I need to hide it it just makes no sense especially when I showed the books that I sold you draw your own conclusion you believe whoever you want this will not be addressed again 